Hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Laser, and I'm on the Heroes of the Storm PTR where Deathwing uh, Chromie just went live. Yes, Blizzard kind of threw us a curveball. She went live on the PTR a few moments ago. So we're gonna go for a little bit of gameplay. But before we get into any gameplay, she was released together with a humongoid patch. Tons and tons of changes. Coming to Heroes of the Storm. Didn't have time to go through them, okay? I'm gonna bring you guys a patch review tomorrow. In the meantime, Chromie. So, Range Assassin, Warcraft Universe, classified as hard difficulty to play I went on ahead and bought the bundle because I will not play a gnome but I will play a goblin so there you go here she is G goblin chromie <laughs> or fell queen chromie her Q ability is sandblast after one second fire a missile that deals damage to the first enemy hero hit okay huge range on this one only three second cooldown but keep in mind that you have a huge animation a wind up to it that one second and you can only hit heroes meaning no structures no minions no mercenaries no nothing so only good against heroes W ability is gonna be dragon's breath Fire a blast into the air that lands after 1.5 seconds, dealing damage to enemies in an area. Enemies cannot see where the blast will land, so no telemark to warn them where your blast will land should make for some really nice surprise kills. Her E ability is Time Trap. Place a Time Trap that arms and stealths after 2 seconds. The first enemy hero to touch it will be put into stasis for 2 seconds. Only one trap can exist at once. Uh, so st uh, stasis is like Zertal's thing, okay? It's like his Void Prison, okay? So you cannot damage your opponents while they are trapped in your E. But it, it is a nice setup for your WQ combo. Her passive is Time Walker, and this one is pretty straightforward. You get your talents, all your talents, one level earlier than any other hero. Okay, so you're not gonna get talents at 4, 7, and 10. For example, you're gonna get them at 3, 6, and 9. Uh, moving on to heroics, first one was gonna, is gonna be Slowing Sands. This one is a huge AoE on the ground, place a sand vortex that greatly slows enemies inside it. The longer it is active, the more it slows, up to 50% after 5 seconds. So only a 5 second cooldown on this one and it, it drains mana the longer it stays active. As you can see, 4 per second. Second heroic ability is gonna be Temporal Loop. This one is on a 70 second cooldown. Uh, choose an enemy hero after 3 seconds. They will teleport back to the location where you cast Temporal Loop on them. So for example, Aperture tries to borrow Temporal Loop. Okay, he's gonna come back just like in the gameplay footage we saw earlier in the week. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for Chromie's, ability, uh, Chromie's abilities. We're gonna try to skip to some gameplay right about now. My goodness gracious, 960 seconds wait time. Alright, here we go guys, after about uh, 20, 20, 25 minutes queue? What what was it baby? 22, 25 minute queue, we are here and just, as my luck would have it, Battlefield of Scrupternity, and we're gonna pick up our first talent for Chromie. So I studied the talents only a little bit. I would go with Time Walker's Pursuit even though I don't have any experience with her as in how mana hungry is she but on this battleground nah. So we're gonna go deep uh, breathing. Uh, she has three quest talents at level 1, deep breathing is one of them. Every time Dragon Breath, that's your W ability, hits a hero increases his damage by 2 up to 50 after you hit 25 heroes. You complete Z quest, you get an additional 150 damage and also increases your sight radius by 100. That's the interesting part to me, okay? Because uh, Chromie, from what I understood, plays as a long range assault bombardment kind of like hero. Look at the range on this thing, untalented. That's your Q ability. But of course, you do have. Oh, good stun. Okay, let's try to follow it up with a Q. Good damage on to Nuborak. By the way, we have four warriors on our team. Like I said, your Q will not hit anything but heroes, so keep that in mind. I know you're going there, Chromie. Okay, she put her, uh, her stink in whatchamacallit there. Oh, here comes the bombs, man! So good! Come on, one Q. Oh, not enough. Not enough, thank you very much. Let's try like that, though. Oh, a Nuborak. You took so much damage, though, bruh. Let's try to get another one. I'm um, a little bit squished, so I gotta be a little bit careful. W has flown in Sylvanas' general direction, and a Q will follow up on an Uberak. That's gonna do a lot of damage. So, uh, she does a lot. Oh, come on, trigger this thing. Oh, God. I put my E there. I need a little bit of help, though. Oh, turn around on that Uberak. My Q will not land, but we will secure the kill anyways. So, W is gonna be easy from what I can tell to actually stack up, because you got a pretty hefty actual... Um, size to that thing see pretty hefty size one Q in that general direction Sylvanas coming in there as well uh, that's gonna be first blood no it will not be first blood but we're a little bit low oh uh, by the way I should uh, show you guys the teams right so Arthas, Anubarak, Muradin, Chromie and Joan on our side god knows why uh, while on the enemy side Arthas, Zul, Anubarak, Chromie and Sylvanas gonna go back we're gonna keep an eye on damage we're playing an assassin are we now 
So, there are many options to color coordinating this Felqueen chromey thing with mounts. For now, we're gonna go with this option right here, okay? The Cloud Serpent or whatnot, though others do exist. Uh, how about this one? Uh, two targets, uh, nah. Powering a solid, uh, oh yeah, radius by 25% for our W ability. That's the one we're doing the quest for. W has flown in uh, Chromie's direction, that's gonna kill her, even though I am trapped now a little bit. Eh, boom. <laughs> Yeah, the wind-up to your Q ability is huge. One second never felt so bloody long. W will fly. Yeah, baby. And a Q. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Wow. They weren't kidding when they said long-range artillery. The little beast she is. So I can't use my Q on this thing. How's my W doing? Uh, I, I forgot to check if this one resets on death. Uh, nope. It doesn't reset on death, so that's a good thing. The enemy team... Um, did win the first phase of the Immortals, though. I hit this bloody battleground. Alright, what are we doing? Let me try to get lucky hits. No, they're not there. Okay, fine. W, long range. Okay, this one, I, I don't know, I feel like... It's easier to land your... Uh, whatchamacallit, it's easier to land your... Uh, w... But you got a much lower cooldown on your Q, only 3 seconds, that one we lost, the Immortal hands down, no problem at all. And he's got a pretty sizable shield as well, we are playing warriors. Okay, there are 4 bloody warriors here, and that is a problem. The combo with Chromie would be pretty simple, WQ, okay, if you manage to get a trap on them, good, if not, well, no, and that's pretty much it. It's gonna be easy for me to land the hits uh, on these guys, simply because, again, my Q doesn't affect anything else but uh, but you see boom the problem is like I said the wind up is extremely extremely long mm -hmm. let's try to put it behind Artis yep thought so and a long range Q onto him a lot of damage the problem is I'm not really all that good at CG because only my W would actually affect I'm a little bit r running a little bit low on mana right now Nope, don't have that big of a range. But we will pick up talents to further augment her range. We didn't lose a fort, that's a good thing. Right, so, uh, reduces Dragon Breath mana cost and cooldown by 50%. Also, re also reduces its damage by... Oh no, reduces Dragon Breath mana cost and cooldown by 50, but also reduces its damage. No, 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 no. Dragon's Eye, Dragon's Breath, the 25 more set damage in enemies in the center, you bet. Third option, Chrono Sickness, reduces time, cooldown by 50%. Nah. Nah, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go full artillery on that one. And we're gonna rotate to the top lane. Where nasty things are happening, that's gonna be a kill. We need some mercenaries. If we are to stand a chance on this stinking battleground, we're gonna need some mercenaries. Good wave clear for your W. Okay, so good wave clear for your W ability. Ain't that right, Mubarak? Damn it, that missed. They're going for me now. Turn around. One Q in their general direction. But again, the long animation really hurts there. And I can do nothing really about uh, any creep or any structure or any objective outside of W. E will do nothing and your Q again hits only heroes. And that's a two-sided coin. Obviously in a team fight, it's gonna be easier for you to actually, you know, hit heroes. Uh, through minions, through structures and all whatnot. But then again, you have no wave clear. Okay, outside of your W, which does do significant amounts of damage. And, uh, well, objectives such as getting, uh, getting whatchamacallit. The objective here on Battlefield of Eternity. Okay, well, out of four warriors, out of four bloody warriors, none of one, not one is here to actually do the damage. Uh, and actually tank a little bit, but it's okay because the enemy warriors are here. Look, Joanna finally showed up. Alright, we're not gonna be able to get anything done, and I'm gonna die to the bombardment of the enemy Crow Me, her W there. Dragon's Breath landed on me and the enemy team. Right now should be able to focus on the on our very own immortal and try to get the objective. Or not. Maybe they're fighting. Okay, they are fighting that. Arthas is gonna meet his demise. But in the meantime, like I said, enemy team is focusing on our immortal. Where are Joanna instead of fronting and trying to actually get the attention of the enemy team because she has no damage, is actually trying to damage down the immortal. Okay. Interesting choices there, we're gonna come in, my team doesn't really have any damage outside of me, so there you go, also the M team has a Sylvanas, and at level 7 she has a very interesting talent. We can't really get the Immortals, so might, might as well fight. 
The Immortal is already lost at this point. I'm gonna place down my trap over here in this bush. We're chasing the enemy team out. Okay, so... Okay, he ch okay, the body blocks out there actually kind of screwed over my intention with my W. Enemy team did pick up their heroics, only Chromie though, and we're gonna be picking up Slowing Sands, okay? Very tight corners on this specific battleground. I'm gonna place it down here. It does drain mana as long as it is active. Combo on the Anubarak, that's gonna melt a lot of hit, uh, a lot of his hit, hit points and try a lucky Q in the general direction. Oh, she got me. You can cancel your heroic at any time or you can leave it on if you so desire. It doesn't really... Only drains mana, but not that much mana. Start to get some wave clear going. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ah, got you. Oh, God. Okay, my either the time trap actually caught Artis. Hold on, I want to put my heroic here. Okay, the enemy Chromie had like the same idea there. Gotta get a better position though than this. Wanna throw my... Uh, bye bye Chromie. Uh, nice knowing ya. Girl, that was a one for one. Arjuana died as well though. Uh -huh. Time trap here. Throw a cubist. He's slowed, but so am I. How's about some stuns or something? Okay, thank you. Four tanks, you think we have some CC, and we do. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get out of here, go back to Fountain. I am running low on health and mana. Right, so keep in mind that we didn't pick up our, um, our mana talent at level 1, and we have been kind of spammy, because that's the whole point of having 3 second cooldown on Sandblast again. That's your Q. Huge animation to the bloody thing. You gotta be spammy spammy, and I was worried a little bit that uh, if we didn't pick up a mana talent, we wouldn't be able to actually keep on spamming, but that doesn't seem to be the issue. I wasn't, up until this point at least, oh god, uh, wasn't really limited by mana even once. There goes my guys, they're going after Chromie, I'm gonna follow, no, they managed to miss her. She doesn't have any escape at all up until level 13. At level 13 you get the only escape talent for Chromie as far as I saw up until this point. So it's easy to catch a Chromie. When you see it you got, just gotta jump on it. Like not on the artist, jump on the Chromie. You know? yeah! Okay, never mind artist, how about W to the face bruh? Slow from Joanna there. Hey! Ah, that missed. Crap. Okay, I'm gonna put a uh, time trap here. Uh, slowing trap, hey, whatever trap. Okay, they're there. Yeah, <laughs> she put her trap too. Okay, thank you. I bet you guys are here, aren't ya? Aren't ya, the little darlings? Yeah, come on, get in there, tanks. Okay, we're going in, apparently. Again, I want to focus the enemy from you. We're reaching, we're gonna pick up our talent now. We're gonna talk about it a little bit later. With the one W, one Q. Lay down stasis and keep on running. I was hoping that I actually. Saved my life there, but the Anubarak did manage to get the damage onto me. And who else? I don't know, Sylvanas or something like that. So we picked up talent at level, well, 12. Normally this would be 13. Bye Bye is the survival talent you have on Chromie. Reduces the cast time of your Hearthstone by 75% and is not interrupted by taking damage. Still will be interrupted by stuns and so on and so forth. Okay, but this is how you get out of dodge with this specific talent right here. You're gonna go back to beach. Reaching through time increases Sandblast and Dragon Breath range by a whopping 25%. Look at the range on these guys. Look at this. This is the range and this is how long this will travel now. It's huge. Okay, it's absolutely huge. Like for example, I'm just gonna stay... Uh, I'm just gonna come. Wait, I, I want to see him first. Where are you, Zul? Please tell me you stuck around. He didn't stick around. Damn it! All right, I'm gonna do my W. That's gonna get a little bit of wave clear. Yeah, uh, we got pings for the immortal to defend ours. Yeah, actually, that sounds like a good idea. We can defend something with so many tanks. Oh, uh, Artis is wave clearing though. Nah, I got trapped. Okay, I placed my AoE perfectly there, I believe. A lot of damage onto the Sylvanas. I took a lot though. Let's try to get a little bit of damage onto that Zul. Okay, we do get a little bit. Hmm. Do that way. Any cooldown. 
Should be able to kill this Arthas though. Did get a kill on the Arthas with my W, but then I died as well. Sadly, my tanks didn't manage to keep him off of me. Arthas came into the fight a little bit too late there. I do believe Arthas got his rework uh, in this specific patch. And our Immortal is getting currently knocked down pretty hard. We're gonna check damage. Here we go, guys. So, I'm doing pretty good damage considering our team is kind of behind. Okay, not kinda really behind because we just do not have the damage to actually do to the Immortal loot. Four Warriors blame matchmaking for this one, for the Four Warriors part. Uh, I don't know what happened to Arthas and Anubarak during their uh, reworks. I do know that in this patch we did get changes to them. I just didn't have time to actually read. Uh, Arthas does decent damage considering I'm an assassin. Watch the range on this one. Boom, Zul! A boom, baby! Oh man, I love the bombardment thing. Bombardment thing is nice. Oh, right into the Zul. Joanna going in there. Super ham. Super ham. That's gonna be a kill. W flies up, throwing me a lot of damage onto the Sylvana. It's gonna bombard, it's gonna hit the Chromie at this point. Here's Sans. Sans will slow down. And that will trap. Bombard! Uh, you, uh oh, I, I was hoping he missed. He did not. Good damage onto him. He's gonna heal up. We're gonna turn around and final bombard, and that's gonna secure a kill. While the Immortal will be destroying our keep, and therefore. Catapults will be spawning against that while Arthas, while Arthas still tries to catch a little Chromie and fails to do so. She has no escape, she has no movement, speed increases, it's easy to catch. See Chromie, as you can see, our Arthas in an overact managed to catch up with her. Ah, oh, brother. Ah, uh, move out of AoE. Fine. I'm gonna move out of AoE. So, initial impression for Chromie, huh? Well. I did play a little bit of Dota 2, and in Dota 2 there is a specific hero which you guys probably know about, which is very, very similar to Chromie. Very, very similar. Uh, so, I don't know, it's too early to tell. Uh, obviously in the following days I'm gonna bring you guys more Chromie content, okay, a lot more Chromie content, etc. But for now, this is gonna be my first impression. After I'm done with her, head on over to Twitch, I'm gonna live stream for a couple of hours, try to get a better handle on Chromie. Okay, go Joanna. Uh, we're gonna pick up Shifting Sands. Look at all my range. I don't care, Sylvanas. Sylvanas, come right back in, Sylvanas, damn it, almost. My range do not care. Oh, perfect initiation by Sil Sylvanas. My Q will land. I get extra ability power now because of the talent I just picked up. Look at my range. Look at my range flying off. Oh my god, so much. And Heroic Bard is gonna clean him up. Too good. Too good. Heroic is gonna be used here. Slow him down there. Gonna cancel it so it doesn't drain too much mana. By the way, slowing sand doesn't really drain all that. Oh god, look at top lane. Look at top lane, guys. Oh god. News. It's Zul. Should I go back to? Fine, I'm going back to. Then again, what am I gonna do? Then again, what am I gonna do here? I, I, I'm good in team fights. And that's about it. To be frank. Eh, kill him. Uh, let's try to get some wave gear going with our W. Nothing else actually hits. You got like very little wave clear so you're only gonna be useful in team fights tributes something like that but at immortals jeez at immortals you're supposed to harass the enemy team right wait for them to get stunned maybe a lucky stun from the enemy immortal uh did i complete my quest yeah i completed my quest here we go so i got increased vision look at the fog of war disappearing as i move okay i got increased vision and all that no we cannot fight this we gotta defend ours Look, I'm even gonna cast one W. This is the max range W right here. We gotta defend and kill. This is our only shot at this. Sadly, now the enemy team can just backdoor us. Good damage onto him. Slow him down with my sands of sandiness. Q on his general direction. It will connect. Oh, no, no. I don't know if that connected or not. But he's definitely dead. Here it comes. Oh, my God. So much range. I love it. Okay, pl place this here on this choke point. Q right there. Oh, baby, yeah. And another Q. I don't need to cancel my stuff. Oh my god, that actually hit with Sylvanas? I think it might have. Uh, I think it might have. I can cancel my heroic now though. Sylvanas, I'm betting you're gonna run that way. I just won one W, one W, one W. Damn it. Oh! Mm. Where are you going, Silva? All right, get it, uh, get it, get it, get it. No, 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 don't get it. Okay, Annie's with me, obviously. 
<laughs> My god, that's a lot of range. The problem is I can't really help Sylvanas there all that much. Uh, because again, only my W deals damage. That that's frustrating. Okay, I keep repeating it. It's just frustrating at this point. Uh, past and future me. Okay, this will create a clone where I cast my W. Okay, and when I cast my uh, Q once again, you will see it'll get double casted. Okay, but an untalented version W. I'm gonna place my AOE slant uh, slows there. Q in Artus's general direction will not connect. I'm gonna try to run and not a predictable manner stun stun please there we go and w flies guaranteed kill baby okay the def defense tactic works considering we got a pretty hilarious team composition do we not but i gotta go now no okay so let me make myself perfectly clear this is not a gnome, I do not play gnomes, this is a goblin. I play goblins, okay, goblins are acceptable, but I, I won't be catched playing a gnome. Uh, core is getting uh, direct, the enemy team was aware of this, that th these things that will continue to push. Pretty hard actually, there's not much little chrome you can do about it, because again, only W wave clears. My guys will be able, however, oh god, they're coming, what am I gonna do? Okay, one W I guess. Oh, that hurts, man, that really hurts, but we are level 20. Uh, in front of the enemy team, buy a mile and heal his damage. Art is top on damage, beating a chrome, yeah? Okay, well, I'm not a uh, uh, not a expert chromie at this point, so I guess that might be it. Mm. Gotta defend a little bit. Oh, Sylvanas, hi. Should I go top? Yes, I'm gonna try to go top. Help that, no brack. Mm, oh. Wait, 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 wait. Where is he? Okay. I don't want him to see me. Oh, the Q lands! AoE down around the immortal. Q in this direction. Cancel that one. Okay, the base is getting protected by Joanna right now. W flies. Okay, nothing's gonna get hit there. The Anubarak died while trying to assault our base. Joanna there is defending with more than an artist. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> predictable, bro. Predictable. Uh, oh, that hit. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna place my way down here. I don't really need to be afraid of mana things because I don't have mana issues. Oh my god, the damage on the crummy heroic use by artists. That means we are going in, brothers. I'm actually gonna try to shoot past Artus on the Sylvanas. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I love it. Awesome. I got quad frontline, boys. I got quad frontline. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Destroy this. Come on. Come on. I can't do more siege than that. I would love some healing. Hey, Muradin, can you pass me your passive for a second? No? Okay. Um, How about place this here? Shoot my artillery thingies over there. Oh, damn it, I didn't let, uh, Q on the, oh my god, does so much damage. You catch somebody out with this combo, if he's a bruiser or a squish, it's all over. Q in on his general direction, my god, my god, so much. Look at this, guys. Well, for noob, Chromie, I do believe, uh, this is not my first quick match, this is my second quick match, by the way, guys, okay? First quick match, sadly, my file got corrupted, even though it was a better game than this one. Anyway, so that's it for first impressions for Chromie. Overall, feels pretty strong at this point, even though... Oh god, finish the game. Uh, even though uh, she doesn't have a lot of wave clear, she feels pretty strong. She's high on the burst, not really so much on the sustain. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more content. As always, my name is Ben Lazar, and I'll see you guys again soon.